Hello dear students look at these pictures of some places despite its beauty this place is seems incomplete and it seems that something is missing isn't it no human is visible in these pictures this world is beautiful only because of human beings if human beings are not there so what is the use of all the beauty of the world a group of human beings living in a region is called a population so students today we are going to learn a very important geography chapter population several factors are responsible for the development of a region out of these population is an important factor while studying the population of any region the four aspects have to be considered population growth population distribution population density structure of population let's know about population growth before knowing about population growth have a look on an activity in the year 2016 city a and city b had total population 1 lakh and 1 lakh 10000 respectively total 2000 children were born in city a and 2750 children were born in city b total deaths occurred in city a were 1500 and 2200 people died in city b 23000 people have migrated from outside in city a whereas 15000 people have migrated in city b 2000 people have migrated out from the city a whereas 5000 people have migrated out from the city b so total population of city a in 2017 would be 1 lakh 22500 whereas population of city b would be 1 lakh 20550 from this exercise it can be seen that there is a constant change in the population of a region sometimes there is a decrease in population and at other times there is an increase this increase or decrease is related to some factors they are birth rate death rate life expectancy migration birth rate the number of live births per 1000 people in a year shows the birth rate death rate the number of deaths per 1000 people in a year shows the death rate life expectancy the average life span of an individual expected in an area at the time of birth migration the movement of an individual or a group out of an area or into an area is called migration when people move into a region from outside for residence it is called in migration and when people move out of a region for residential purpose it is called out migration all these factors affect the population growth distribution of population how the population of an area is spread it is understood by the distribution of population of that particular region mainly there are four factors which affect the distribution of population number 1 physical factor in this factor location relief climate soil mineral resources are included number 2 economic factor agriculture industry urbanization transport markets are considered in this number 3 political factors wars political instability government policies are considered here number 4 social factors in this race religion language custom and traditions are included density of population the ratio of the population of a country to its area is population density while discussing population distribution density of population is also considered the density is calculated as per the formula density of population is equal to population of a region upon area of a region total population of some of the states of india and its area are given density of the population can easily be found out density of population is not the same everywhere in some regions the area is small but the population is large for example goa in other regions the area is large but the population is small 
therefore the density of population is low for example rajasthan structure of population there are some factors to be considered to estimate the structure of the population of any region number 1 sex ratio as per the gender people can be divided into males and females this is a natural division which can be easily understood in a population when both the genders are around the same number it indicates a balanced population on population studies the ratio of men and women is considered important this ratio is calculated as sex ratio is equal to total number of females upon total number of males into 1000 when per every 1000 males the number of females is less the sex ratio is said to be low and when for every 1000 males the number of females is more the sex ratio is said to be high as per the census 2011 sex ratio of few states of india in haryana 879 females were there for 1000 males in bihar 918 maharashtra 929 chatisgarh 991 and in kerala the count was 1084 number 2 age structure of the population in a region when the population is subdivided as per the age groups this is called the age structure of the population and for this the population is divided into three categories first group is the group of people between the ages of 15 and 59 this group is called productive population this group of people is active in service and business they directly participate in the economic activities of a region in regions where the proportion of this population is more especially youth development is rapid second sub group is the group of people below 15 years of age they are totally dependent on the productive population and the third group is of the group of people above 60 years this group is also fall in dependent category but their knowledge and experience make them a valuable asset to the whole society number 3 occupational structure of the population the population of a region can be classified into working and non working groups those people who are not in jobs or professions despite being in the productive age group come under the non working groups this non working group is dependent on the working group if the proportion of working population is higher in a region then the population is termed as industrious such a region has rapid development number 4 area of residence the population of a region can be divided into two groups as per the area of residence that is rural and urban people in the rural areas are mainly employed in primary occupations and in urban areas the proportion of people working in secondary and tertiary occupations is large literacy in society some people are literate and others illiterate in our country a person who can read and write is termed as literate this definition can vary from one country to another people above the age of 7 can be classified into literates and illiterates literacy is an indicator of the social and economic development of a society if the percentage of literacy is higher then the country develops socially and economically literacy leads to the development of a cultural and progressive society let's see the literacy ratio of some of the countries argentina 98.1% brazil 92.6% india 72.1% china 96.4% bangladesh 61.5% pakistan 56.4% Iran 86.8% and Afghanistan 38.1%. Migration The movement of an individual or a group from one place to another is termed as migration. This could be for a short period, long period or permanently. Some of the main reasons for people's migration are marriage, business, transfer tourism natural calamities 
wars etc regions from where people migrate show a fall in population on the other hand the areas to which they migrate show an increase in population and a strain on the public amenities and facilities let's compare the percentages of immigrant population in some countries as per this graphic information kuwait is the country in which 62.11% population migrated from other countries and afghanistan has the least percentage that is 0.14% in the countries where the percent of migrant population is more job opportunities good business prospects the availability of natural resources and economic development are the main causes on the other hand political and social factors economic backwardness etc are the some of the reasons accounting for a low percentage of this population population a resource population as a resource is important for the economic social and cultural development of any country rather than population numbers it is the quality of population which is important along with the percent of literacy sex ratio and age groups health etc are also considered while thinking of population as a resource if the population of any region increases and there is no provision of housing for the increasing population there is no adequate supply of drinking water no proper education arrangement the standard of living is low then of what use is this growth only growth doesn't mean development then how can development be measured human development index for many decades only a country's gross national product was used for measuring development it was assumed that the greater the economic prosperity the more the development of a country but this doesn't mean that the people are happy with the quality of life in that country in reality development is related to the quality of life the opportunities available there and freedom in the decade of 1980 and 1990 mehboobul haq and amritya sen put forth the concept of human development index hdi united national development index undp publishes a list of countries based on hdi scores every year the human development index holds an important place in the study of human conditions related to the international economic development the human development index is also used to measure regional development the values of the human development index range from 0 to 1 highly developed regions have a value close to 1 and as the level of development goes down the value of the hdi decreases in an area with very little development the value of the index is close to 0 let's see the development scores of some selected countries 